Hey, what's good, y'all? Money. All right. Today, we got Empress. Cardi B threatens to sue B over a diss song. B responds to trash Cardi B. All right, so if y'all haven't heard, it's the Cardi B situation and B. I'll be seeing this on TikTok, and I'm going to do a live reaction and say my thoughts. Cardi B, my baby, if you're watching this, let me not call you my baby. I'm just saying my thoughts. I don't think, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to end it like Tasha K, so I'm a key shit PG. But let's keep watching it. Let's we'll see what she about to talk to say. Okay. What? Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Impressive Channel. Right. Cardi B is currently beefing with the rapper Bia. They've been going back and forth. Cardi Why actually they threw subs at Bia in her verse. On the they both look good in this, this little video I'm watching here, though. I ain't gonna care. Wanna be remix, and Bia responded by dropping her own diss track, and I definitely want to talk about that. But before I do, I first want to thank Aura for sponsoring this video. So, when was the last time you Googled yourself? Man, you get your ass off my screen talking about some Google myself. Get your ass back into the video. F I'm not trying to get no aura, bro. If I'm not getting a sponsor, bro, I don't want it on my screen, bro. I'm sorry. Now, Bia had a song called I'm That B that samples Missy Elliott's song, She's a B. And okay. Cardi decided to drop a song called Like What, which also samples Missy's song, She's a B. Now, nothing wow. is wrong with people using the same sample. It happens all the time. So right. that seemed to be nothing but a coincidence. However, people started to point out the fact that Cardi was copying another one of Bia's beats. Bia had a song called Fall Back, and Cardi used that same beat for her song, Enough. So wow. some people started to wonder, okay, is Cardi copying Bia? One fan said, but Bia is definitely on Cardi's mood board a lot. And Bia responded with some confused emojis, which kind of indicates that maybe she feels like Cardi was copying her. However, Cardi denied copying her. She claims that she received those beats before Bia got them. And also... I don't know. I mean, Bia did drop the songs first, you know. So, who knows? Well, we never know, though. You know, we just fans. We don't know what happens behind the Called scenes, up bro. Bia and she checked no her about it. So, I got her number. I got her number and I called her, right? Right. I called her and I recorded it because you you just never know with these hoes. I recorded it. And I'm not even going to lie. The conversation started. Why, why am there. I reading the comments in her live? Somebody weird ass going to talk about Cardi. Do you like cussing that? My nigga, she got a man. I just had to put that out there before I get it too deep. It started very in. nasty. Very All right, Cardi, aggressive. go ahead. Cook up. I was coming at her and she was coming at me. Like, I had the whole conversation. Because you saying that I'm copying you. And also, also, Crazy. that's my thing though, right? Yeah. No, this the conversation started real nasty, right? It started real nasty. And then I called her back because I'm so appalled at the fact that she thinks that I'm copying her or that I'm stealing from her. Because there's nothing that she do that I that I like. I don't like her music. I don't like her style. I don't like Whoa, her look. Shit. I don't like nothing about her. I don't even see the bitch. So it's like oh more or less. Oh, my God. Because I want to prove to y'all that like everything that she You had to that do I that, bro. Her, Cardi, you had to come off like that, though, man. Come on, the songs, man. You had to do that. I would, when it comes to style, video, anything, I would never copy you, girl. I ain't, I ain't not you. Cardi, no. Now, there was still some tension between Cardi and Bia even after they talked, and it caused Cardi oh, to throw man. slugs at her and Glorilla and Megan's wannabe They both beautiful be women. She said this, I guess I'm a teacher since you want to sub me. She did what had no idea. Thought she was on the shelf, Ikea. Hope she talk like that when I see her. Be please. Don't nobody want to be ya. <laughs> then she went on to call her cheap looking and called her a great value version of her. She kind of went in a little bit. And I'm not going to lie. Wow. I did think her response was funny. Now, I also want to talk about another thing. Now, Cardi is threatening to sue Bia. <laughs> She's threatening to sue Bia because she feels like Bia is running around telling people that she cheated on Offset. But How? what's funny is this rumor wasn't put out there by Bia. It was actually put out there by Offset himself. He posted and deleted this message on his IG story saying, my wife effed an end on me, gang. Y'all ends know how I come. And Offset actually had to address. <laughs> That's crazy as fuck, bro. <laughs> 
What the hell going on in the internet, man? Rest this what on the Angela Yee show, right? And then you posted something about Cardi, and people think that this she cheated because mm-hmm. you did a post and delete. I was really lit that night. <laughs> I was lit. I little Casamigo here and there, you know. Okay. I was lit, and then we going back and forth. Let's and I'm like, watch this. True, bro. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw that, true. right, and I read Please it on the air, true, I bro. interpreted it differently. Than what it was, because when you said my wife f and we're on me gang, y'all and we know how I come. I thought you were saying hypothetically if she did that. That's what I said. I was like, yeah, I think he means hypothetically. But Cardi <laughs> definitely set you straight on Twitter Spaces. She was like, first of all, <laughs> and she went in. So, are you gonna publicly like? Did you think I need to get online and clear this up, or you think a delete is enough? Crazy. Uh, the delete is enough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Offset addressed this. Given kind. Why the fuck do I give a fuck about this sorry ass ad? Get your ass off my screen, my nigga. This is getting good though. All right, I ain't know none of this. Okay, okay, offset. Rumor out there because he was arguing with Cardi. So Bia did not spread this rumor. Also, Cardi was kind of pushing this narrative that Bia was spreading rumors about her having an explicit tape out. In fact, Cardi said one of her associates down in Atlanta hit up her team and hit up a producer and said that Bia was out here trying to spread this rumor that she was busting it wide open on camera. And Cardi called up Bia's team and Bia's team denied this. They're like, we don't know nothing about no tape. So when I heard this, I was kind of like, okay, it's clear that there's some messy middleman that's trying to bait Cardi and Bia into a rap. It's it's somebody in the the middle, bro. There's definitely somebody in the middle, twin, to get both of them beefing, beef, bro. Because rat beef sells. Yes, bro. So I think people it were in Cardi's sells. ear and people were in Bia's ear. It's and they both lie, took bro. the bait. I don't want to see these two women beefing, bro. I want them to make good music and look good. And be just be just make good music. And shake that ass and be just be happy. That's all I want to do is see women happy. I want to see the, I enjoy the music. I enjoy the music. I'm tired of these beef happening, bro. You know what I'm saying? All respect, Offset. I'm just saying your girl look good. I don't want her, though. Bia, you look amazing. My baby, come sit next to me. But don't beef, man. Just don't beef. Clearly. You feel but me? It's I don't want to see this. That Cardi was trying to sue Bia off of a rumor that was started by her own husband. That's the crazy thing. Like, who threatens to sue somebody in the midst of a rap beef? I put my record out. Yes, no, well, not my record. I put this remix out. And, you know, surely feeling a certain type of way or whatever. So, niggas send me this. Now that I think, now that I put That's things crazy. together, it's like, oh. So you was going around, you was going around telling people that it's close to my nigga that I'm fucking on this. You could come at me at any angle. You gonna lie on my pussy? When you lie about my pussy, I'm gonna sue you. And you gotta come with receipts. Okay. And not only, not social media <laughs> receipts, you gotta come with court receipts. Cardi will do that. Look what happened to Tasha K. The one thing you're, gonna, you're not going to do, you're not going to lie about to Tasha K. You're not going to lie about me stepping out of my shit. Look what happened to Tasha K. Don't and, fuck and with yeah, Cardi, yeah, man. Then she this, right? Don't then fuck with her. this on her little fence. Don't though. fuck with her. Then she posted this, this thing. I don't know who's Adam, but she's talking about, hey, Adam. I can see it. Belkali said, if I drop this song, she's going to sue me. It, is that valid? Now, like I said, you could diss me. We could go battle for battle. But for you to lie on my pussy, Crazy. lying on my pussy, bitch, will get you sued. And I will get every little fucking red penny that you ever fucking make. Bitch. Any money, every money that you make off your publishing. Bitch. Oh, my God. This is so comical to me. The fact that Cardi is threatening to sue somebody over a rap song, a diss song, is just ridiculous. This comes to show that Cardi is not hip hop at all. And she can't really sue her because once again, Offset put the rumor out there. Even though it's not true, he still put it out there. And Bia, being the rapper she is, was going to use this as an angle to come at Cardi. 
she used Offset's post as her cover art for her diss song, Sue Me. <laughs> and I thought that was funny. That's insane. And this is bro. what she said in the song. Put it on your hubby since you love lying on your vows. I write all my verses. I could do this ish for hours. Facts. I'll be dang if I let a man F a B inside my house. Whew. Your money long and you split that. Your man saying that's ours. Whew. She was kind of referencing Money Long song hours and hours That's there, crazy, but she bro. was also saying Offset takes half of Cardi's money too because Cardi is probably the breadwinner. She, she definitely is a breadwinner. Put that ish on God that you ain't changed your face to mine. I'll get on you so I don't have to waste no time. Say you love yourself, B. You wouldn't put that on your kids, huh? All that surgery and how your body looks so mid. Oh shit! <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my fucking gosh. Now we all know Cardi got a lot of work done was, to her face and her that body. That was fucking insane. And she did say that Bia looks like a great value version of her, but Bia's like, how can that be when you literally change your face to mine? They do look kind of similar. Ooh, At gosh. Staples. Let me mute this shit. Stop putting these ads on this motherfucker. Let me look at my phone real quick. I think somebody just texted me, bro. Damn, bro. I don't think Cardi was trying to look like Bia, but after the procedures, that's what ended up happening. Bia also said, thought she was for the culture. You just trying to ride the wave. You should be at home with your kids because B, you speak like second grade. Crazy. Man. Whew. She referenced Cardi's kids, culture and her son Wave. Wow. And then she says that she speaks remedial. She speaks like she's still a child. She speaks like she's in second grade. Woo -wee. she then went on to say go ahead tell your hubby you ain't innocent had to up the score like i had 10 assists Ugh. you want to mention me b that's the benefit bought a glock but the drum comes separate Ooh, b you probably write a spell before you write a rap Ooh, pay attention to that Crazy. now it was rumored that cardi does practice dark arts and bia also said she's into that buharia i find it interesting that cardi addresses a lot of things but she doesn't address that that's insane. I wouldn't though. be surprised if she was into that at all. Then Bia went on to say, C A R D crying on I G, catch another two because she couldn't catch a beat. Ugh. Do I beef with you or do I beef with Pardy? Ugh. You've been scrapping projects since 2019. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Bia is on her. Cardi, please make another diss, bro. Don't sue her, bro. Just diss her back, bro. Please, Cardi, bro. If you watch my video, diss her back, please, bro. Please, just so diss her back. This would be so. This would be another great rap like rap war. Well, please, like, diss her back. Michelle, but you still scrapping projects, which is why you still haven't released another please, album. Please, diss her and back. She also said, "Do I beef with you or do I beef with Party?" And we all know that Party is Cardi's writer. So yes, Ooh, Bia, gosh. you're going to have to beef with Party. Cardi B is not pushing no pins, okay? The only thing she's doing is ranting on IG Live. So she has to hit up her writers and Bia will have to respond to them all. Bia went on to say that Cardi looks dirty with her tattoos and she needs a bath and she can't dress if it wasn't for Colin and Offset. <sighs> This is so petty. I think Cardi is beautiful, so bro. Petty. I think they both Bia look good. They just need to start beefing, went in. She definitely went in. She and did I did go in some parts. I felt, for her. I felt some of those I know she could go harder than this, but I think she's kind of taking it easy. And we're going to see if Cardi responds or not. We're going to see if her ghost writer says something slick. And then Bia could kind of push her pen a little more. That would be very interesting. But anyway, tell me what you all think about this mess down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bro, this fucking channel has a million subscribers. Are you fucking serious right now, my nigga? And she just talked about Cardi B and fucking B for 12 minutes straight and has 100,000 views. How much comments? What the fuck? I'm done, bro. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, bro. What the hell, bro?